guys, so for today's YouTube video today, I am doing a Halloween weekends tips slash tricks slash reviews and like all this kind of stuff for Halloween weekends at Cedar Point. If you have not gone, I strongly recommend going. It is one of the most fun times I've ever had. You can ride the roller coasters and there's um, haunted houses and haunted walkthroughs. And I'm just going to be doing a couple of like readings that I found online about the new stuff that they're adding at Cedar Point for Halloween weekends. So let's just get started. So the first thing I wanted to say was a little bit of a reading that um, Cedar Point uploaded. So it is the 20th season of Halloween weekends, which is pretty crazy because that's kind of scary because I feel like it's going to be like one of the more scarier Halloween weekends because it is the 20th. So like that's pretty like pretty big deal. So it says that, oh yeah, Mean Streak, girl, it just closed. I mean, it's good to say goodbye to that raggedy old friend, but it's sad because like that was a roller coaster that was like a, a pretty iconic roller coaster there. So like now that that's gone, that's pretty sad. But let's just keep continuing. So they just did the Cedar Point does this every time they get rid of a ride. They ride Cemetery, so they added uh, Mean Streak there and Mean Streak's gravestones there. I'll insert a picture here if I can find one. And that's pretty sad. So there's six indoor haunted houses, including Eden Musee, Eternity Infirmary, and Zombie High School. I heard these are all really scary. I've actually never got a chance to go into the haunted houses. So that's some things. But then there's six outside haunted zones. So the haunted zones are probably one of the most scariest things I've ever experienced in my life. Okay, we good. The haunted zones are literally so scary. Like, I was... Is this still recording? Okay, no, we good. We Gucci. Kaylee, shout out to you. Um, so, the haunted zones you have to walk through. I'm getting to you, girl. Um, there's going to be... Sorry for the interruptions, but there is going to be a real. So... The haunted like, zones you need to walk through to get to other places in the park. And it is one of the most scariest things. Because I was literally so scared the one of the times. Because they literally like skate up right next to you and they're like, hello. I'm like, um, back away. So, um, the next thing that I wanted to do was I'm just going to take a little bit break for Cedar Point. Because my cousin's getting a little frisky over there. And she needs me to put in some self-promo, which I do not blame her for because... So promo, you need to get it out there. So I would like to shout out her musically. Her musically name is Kiki Cat Ten Twenty Four. Maybe it's Kiki Cat Ten Twenty Four. I'll link it right here. Um, it's K E K E K A T one zero two four. I'll put it right up here in case you didn't see it. And I'll also link it in the description below. The description below. So make sure you go follow her on Musical.ly because her Musical.ly's are pretty bomb, I'm gonna say. And guys, she needs to hit 100. Don't know why she's not there yet because she's literally flawless on Musical.ly. So just, just do it. Simple. Okay, so let's get back to our Cedar Point. I feel like I need, like, glasses to like, put down and be like, well, let's get back to Cedar Point. Okay. So. About the haunted zones. So this includes Corn Stalkers, Blood on the Bayou, and Mechanical Screamworks. I've walked, oh yeah, there's like haunted, like outside haunted zones, so I guess like, not like the haunted zones that I walked through, but there's like the haunted like sections of the park, like back by Maverick, there's like a haunted section where like they like skate up to you and they're like, hey, how's it going? And then you're like, you like think it's your friend next to you, and then you're just like, oh, that's the demon. So, ticket prices, a very important thing. Um, So my tip for ticket prices is in the beginning of the season, just get a platinum pad. Sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. Why is it out of focus now? Sorry, guys. The struggle of being a YouTuber. My SD card ran out of space. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, um, so, yeah, a tip. So, if you go to Cedar Point in, like, May, you will honestly want to go back for Halloween weekends. You'll want to go back every single day of your life. I can guarantee it. So, make sure you just get the Platinum Pass or the Season Pass because the Platinum Pass has a lot more benefits. So, if you want to figure out more of that, just go to Cedar Point and then go to their Season Passes. And then they'll show you the benefits of a Season Pass and a Platinum Pass. If you like her most recent musically, or if you like all of her musicallys and she sees that you're like an active like like person, then she will be a FFU. Mm -hmm. I need to get that bell. Okay, so ticket prices are $66. 
um, on Saturday and Sunday and $52 on Friday at the gate or $53 on Saturday and $42 on Friday and Sunday online for information. Go to cedarpoint.com slash Halloweekends. So that's a little bit about tickets. Now let's move on to some more information. Okay, guys, we are definitely going ancient style now. We're doing a Halloween PowerPoint, but no, not off a computer. That's upside down. That was the most like worst thing. Not off of. <laughs> off of a computer but off of paper dramatic so quick disclaimer this is based on the 2015 thing so oh shows these are really fun for me because i love watching them so one of my favorites is the monster midway invasion celebration this is a parade on the main cedar point midway Near the main midway and the Wicked Twister midway. You can catch the show on, um, I'm not going to actually include this because the times might have changed. But it's super fun because they have like a bunch of like, characters that come down and sing the Monster Invasion, or Monster Midway Invasion Celebration song. So another one is, is just really fun. It's called Skeleton Crew. And they do a bunch of like flips and like stuff on trampolines into like these cool, um, like layout things. It's super fun. Um, so like I would definitely recommend those two shows out of all of them. So Erie Estate, that is one of the food places that you can eat at. So Erie Estate, they it's like a haunted house, but you can eat there. And they won't like actually scare you while you're eating, so you won't choke and die. Um, uh, your other food option, which I don't know if they're doing this year actually, is the Night of the Living Fed, which is located right by the beach at the Lakeside Pavilion. Like there's like a Lakeside Pavilion and they have like Night of the Living Fed. I don't know if they're doing that this year, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, this is what is very important if you're bringing a child. Because if you're bringing a child, Cedar Point offers the No Boo Necklace, which can be purchased at almost any merchandise store for $8. It's a little pumpkin. If I can find a picture, I'll put it right up here. But it's like, that honestly scared me so much. But it's like a little pumpkin that lights up so like the people that like are scares that go around the park will not scare you. And I'm also going to include like a couple pictures throughout this video of the scares because those like the makeup and everything looks super good. See? Another person likes it. So another thing if you're bringing a child is the Great Pumpkin Fest, which they provide. Crafts, a trick-or-treat setup, a foam pit, mazes, a hay bale maze, and the Magical House on Blue Hill, which is a not-so-scary um, haunted house for the kids. So this is the outside scare zones, um, which I don't know if they have all of these, so quick disclaimer, these might not be here. Most of them are, though. Fairy Tales, Tombstone Territories. Mechanical Screamworks, Blood on the Bayou, Cutthroat Cove, and Corn Stalkers. And then another are the Haunted Houses, which I don't know if they're doing all of these and they might be doing more, so don't quote me on it. It's Eerie Estate, Eternity Infirmary, Hexed, Zombie High School, Eden Museum, and Slaughterhouse. Um, so, do you think you're ready to go to Cedar Point? Hello weekends. Um, that totally just failed. Give me one second. But are you ready to go to Cedar Point Halloween weekends? I hope you are, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe down below because we're at like 24 subscribers right now. Um, let's try to get to 50 by the end of the year. That's a really huge goal. I don't know if we can do it, but I think we can. So make sure you subscribe down below, like it, and comment down below if you've been to Cedar Point, and then if you have, what's your favorite ride, and if you haven't, um, do you want to go there? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, do all the things that you're supposed to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye. 90, 91, 92.